Hello everyone, my name is Ananya and I'm a student at Bentonville West High School. Today I'll be talking to you about the law of diminishing marginal returns. The law states that if one input in the production of a commodity is increased while all other inputs are held fixed, a point will eventually be reached at which additions of the input yield progressively smaller or diminishing increases in output. Okay, so that was a lot. Let me show you an example. We have Keynes here who wants to start his own pizzeria. He hires his first worker, the young and skillful David. The pizzeria becomes a local sensation. Every age group, from kids to adults, love the pizza. And this is also good news for Keynes, because that means he's earning a lot of revenue. Let me show you a table that would provide you a better understanding of this topic. So this table has four columns. The number of workers, which represents the number of workers hired by Keynes. The total product is the total number of pizzas being produced by all the workers present at the store. The marginal product is the number of pizzas produced by each worker alone. And the marginal revenue is the marginal product times the price per each pizza. So when, th when there's zero workers, then there's going to be zero pizzas produced. So the whole row, top first row, is zero. When David comes in, the total product and marginal product both increase to six because he's the only worker there. Whatever he produces is basically what the store produces. And six times ten is sixty dollars, which is David's marginal revenue. A problem arises for Keynes. Since there's only one worker, customers are getting furious as they have to wait long for their pizzas. As a result, Keynes decides to hire a second worker. The second worker is Janet, the world's fastest pizza maker. With the addition of Janet, Keynes is now able to reach more customers and earn more revenue. Let us go back to the table. Now with the addition of Janet, the total product, so the total number of pizzas that are being produced by all the workers there, increases to 15. And our marginal product for Janet, so how many pizzas she alone makes, is 9. And this can also be calculated by subtracting 6 from 15. And I knew to do this because with the addition of Janet, the total product increased from 6 to 15, which meant that the difference was Janet's contribution to the pizzeria. And all I did to calculate the marginal revenue was multiply 9, the marginal product of Janet, by 10, the price of each pizza, to get $90. Keynes decides to hire a third worker, Adam, with the hopes of earning even more revenue. However, little does he know that the law of diminishing marginal returns is going to kick in with the addition of Adam. Let's go back to the table. Now with the addition of our third worker, Adam, the total product increases to 21. And we can calculate Adam's marginal product by subtracting 15 the previous worker's total product from Adam's total product. And yeah, 21 minus 15 is 6, and 6 is whatever Adam contributes to the pizzeria. And to calculate Adam's marginal revenue, we would do 6 times $10 per pizza, which would give us $60, which is whatever Adam contributes to the pizzeria himself. With the hopes of generating even more revenue, Keynes decides to hire Carl. However, Compared to the previous workers, the addition of Carl does not bring much revenue to the pizzeria. Let's take a look back at the table to see exactly why this happens. With the addition of Carl, the total product increases to 25 from the previous 21. That 4 pizza difference is attributed to Carl's addition to the pizzeria. And 4 times the $10 per pizza will give us a marginal revenue of $40 which is whatever Carl is adding to the pizzeria. That $40 marginal revenue is the lowest among all the workers previously hired by Keynes. So why does the marginal revenue initially increase? Like from the first to the second workers, there's a positive $30 increase. But with Adam, everything starts to decrease. So why does this happen? Well, it has to do with the law we're talking about, as well as the fact that in the definition, it stated that while all other things were equal, well, all we're increasing is the number of workers. We're not increasing the number of ovens in the pizza store or the amount of space in the pizza store for the workers to work at. So all these variable resources are affecting and decreasing the marginal revenue of each worker. We don't want too many cooks in the kitchen. Let's take a quick look at the graph that depicts this law of diminishing marginal returns. 
If we can look at this, the blue line represents our total output or total product, and this is always increasing. It's, it's going to eventually decrease with the addition of even more workers, but in our scenario, as well as in this graph, it kind of levels out and doesn't decrease yet. And our orange line is representing the marginal output or marginal product, and this Yes, it initially increases, but once it reaches that peak point, everything starts to decrease. And that peak point can be represented by the addition of Adam, that new worker in our scenario. So how many workers should Keynes be hiring? Well, the answer to that question lies in how much he's willing to pay each worker. And the marginal cost basically represents that value, the wages of each worker. So if we take a look at this table again and look at the last column, the marginal revenue column, let's say the marginal cost of each worker was $30, then Keynes should be hiring all four of these workers because the values in those in the marginal revenue column are all greater than $30. We always want to take each worker who brings in more value than what he costs. So in that in that case he should buy all he should hire all these workers. However, if the marginal cost was $50, then he should only be hiring the first three workers. He should only be hiring David, Janet, and Adam because what they're bringing in, their marginal revenue is greater than $50. Carl's marginal revenue is lower than $50, so he should not be hiring Carl.